John, when you, you worked so hard in this Gunthorpe game, when something like that happens and then there's a pass and there's a goal, what goes through your mind as a player and how much does it hurt? Yeah, I'm not sure what was going through your mind, it's just frustrating. It was, a, it was such an avoidable mistake, but I guess same things happening and it's, you just have you learn from them and bounce back. And that's why I was eager to do it in the Barrow game. I knew I had to and I thought I did. And this is where we talk about character, isn't it? Because you've, you've, it's happened, you've got to get it out of your mind and on you go. Yeah, exactly. It, I think it probably happens to every player, you know what I mean? And you're never going to be perfect, but just how you bounce back from it. What's the last week done for your confidence? Because you're playing out your skin. Uh, uh, massive, to be fair, because obviously Seth the scum thought was a, was a bit down. You know, I seen what was happening and I just knew I had to do something. And now I've got a couple of goals. It's massive and I hope I can just push on from then. First goal for the club. Your eyes must have lit up when that cross came in from Jimmy. Yeah, it was a weird one because I, I seen the cross coming and I was in... There was a space and I just felt like that ball was going for ages in my head and I just thought I'd get a good contact on it and it's in the back of the net so it was a good feeling, yeah. And you said it yourself, some of the chances you had last season in particular were fairly easy. Some of the goals you scored, well the three goals you scored now, right up there with the toughest chances you've had. Yeah, exactly. I think I came into it last season, I missed an open goal and obviously I scored like the one I did against Sunderland so I think it's just confidence as you say and just taking the chances. And on Tuesday night when you start the move, Louis goes off on the run and you finish your move, that's pretty special. Yeah, it was a good feeling, I just remember the flick on and you know, Louis played well the other night and it was good to sort of link up with him and I say just take that chance. Do you feel like you're growing as a player, particularly in this new position, John? Yeah, definitely, I'm always learning like, every week, you know what I mean, from, as you say, like, people like Dean and that and the gaffer's always helping us out and there's, just, there's obviously a long way to go but uh, I can't wait to do it really. And just finally, with potentially with the, the option that you've got, you could be here till 2023. What does that feel like to know you've got that security and the, the faith from the club to give you that type of contract? Yeah, that's massive. It's a really good feeling because I've sort of only ever been on one-year contract, so it's a bit, you get a January and you're like, you don't know what's going to happen. So now I can really set myself at the club because I want to be here and I want to do well. And hopefully now I've got that couple of years I can really kick on.